Hey everybody, I'm out here today and I'm sure everybody's wondering what the heck is Craig doing sitting on the floor again. Well, it's a nice day, why not? We're up to about 55, 60 degrees. Nice sunny day. I did go out for a ride today. But uh, I did a recent repair on the bike that where I wanted to, it brought up a uh, feature and a piece of information I want to be sure to review because there's a um, product out there that's offered by Curie Aiken. It is a popular grip and foot peg company that make the ISO supports with the rubber and the chrome and very pretty and attractive. Jerry Aiken also makes a, and I may be from mispronouncing that, I'm, I'm not that foreign to be able to pronounce that word, but anyway, uh, they make a very popular brand of mini board. And I first ran into them when I had my Indian Scout. They came up with... Uh, a board they released that year that's pretty much aimed at the scout when it was released that that board came out in, in about 2014 and it's called the uh um the spear mini board and i have one right here that's the spear mini board now you can see the iso padding my wife says this, this rubber padding is actually quite comfortable when you're riding it takes all the vibration out of her feet and she's very happy with it especially since I put it on the extensions for her uh, foot peg extensions. I wanted to point out when I first got the RSS, this was here. This, these were the pegs that were on the front pegs. And then I did not have the extension and we had standard rear pegs in the rear. Now with the bags, you can see what it would do for the obvious reasons that my wife hated it. It puts your, your feet in a terribly awkward position with your peg here, your heel is here, her legs are always here, her knees are always bent and folded and way too high. So we, we went with this extension to bring it forward and down. It really doesn't interfere with me. Uh, I make sure this is unlocked before I go anywhere. So you get used to crowding things and once it's in place it's not that crowded. But anyway, my spears came in on on the front position. So when I put the uh, Rivco board kit on and that's what that is uh, They provide the sport pegs now these sport pegs are easy because on an RSS and I know when I want to lay a whoop ass down I prefer to have my legs tucked so I kind of like having these mini pegs here and they help me keep my feet orientated I might take this one out or get used to them someday and get rid of it because they do kind of sit in the way But most of the time they fold out of the way Anyway, these were not here and this was the front footrest so it fits very well on the front and if you look in the back there is an adapter there's the chrome adapter that comes with it and you use this adapter on the spear they i believe they do have it in black powder coat but i got mine in chrome on the spear and it worked perfectly well now kerrigan or whoever makes this adapter and board feels that the Can-Am socket for the front peg and the Can-Am socket for the rear peg are the same. They are not. And I do not know if Kurikan has made a proper adjustment in their product line, but I found a way to get around it because I'm telling you, I ordered these specifically for the rear set, and this is a set they sent me. And why am I disappointed? Because when I put it on and put it on with the extensions, you think you want to ride like that out in public? Looks a little silly, doesn't it? So I'm a little upset with Kurikin because here they make this nice expensive product. See how easy they They're very easy to service actually. They're, they're actually a nice product. But they float nice. They take all the vibration up. I really wanted these in place because I wanted my wife to be more comfortable out here and really be able to put her weight into something that she can trust. But, you know, how are you supposed to do this when it throws your foot out and upward and just turns you into a weird pretzel if you try to stay on the peg? Well, in another repair I did, you got to learn to improvise, especially now with, with, with uh, the RSS becoming obsolete. And m don't mind my dirt. I, I got a dirty yard right now. But um, so here's what I did. Now on my uh, my ISCI armrest, when I put these on, my wife felt they leaned too far forward. And in the earlier pictures of my trike you can see how the angle of the arms falls flush here but that angles downward like this so my wife liked the things and she didn't mind having her arms down at a slight angle 
but she needs to be able to lean on them for her DLSR and for me to be able to just continue driving her to be comfortable, she needed them higher. So what I did was I learned from owning a tire machine that tire weights are a great tool for shimming. They never come off. That auto tape on a tire weight sucks. Come on, you've seen it. You know what I'm talking about, especially if you tried doing a dyno tune or a dyno bead exchange and you got to take all those weights off because you're actually out of balance with all the beads in. I've done that and it can be a real bear and that glue is impossible to get off. Well, one plus one equals two. So what I did was took a brake weight or a balancing weight and put it in the wedge situation there. It falls down, catches it, keeps it level. Same with that side. We're basically gonna do the same thing here. Again, I had my own tire changing machine, so I've got a drawer full of these. And this was in place, but I did take it out because I wanted to demonstrate this. So all I did was take a longer, I think it's a 30 gram, no, it's a 10 gram, quarter ounce, excuse me, weight. Well, which is a very strong anti-combustible gas resistant uh, uh, glue on the back of my weight because my two-sided tape is gone on mine. And what we're going to do is put this up in here and wedge it. So I make sure it travels through and doesn't take the glue off. And then you see how I just balance that in there? Well, I'm going to make sure it gets set. Why? Because this weight goes in at a weird angle. You see how I've set it now and it's glued into place? So that's there. So all you do now is bring your rest forward. And I'm making sure that weight sticks out a little bit here. So it's above it and then put all the weight on it. There. It's now level. It's maybe an eighth of an inch off. If I want to be a little tight, I could put in a second one and bring it out and kind of angle the stuff back, if you see what I mean. But I know from using it, my wife is perfectly happy. Now that I permaglued it, it'll stay in place as well. So that's what I do to make sure that your spear, carrier can spear pegs can be used with the Currican adapter in the extension for the BRP peg extension for the RSGS ST. And that's all I got for today. I'm glad you guys took some time to watch this for me. I know it doesn't seem like it's very important, but your passenger comfort is extremely important to you, especially if you're using this. Just don't be afraid to improvise and use things out of the box. You know, like a wheel weight has two-sided tape on the back, so it's not going anywhere. So, you know, if you put it into this area and there's a matching one on the other side, my passenger doesn't have their ankles turned out on their pegs. And honestly, I wish Kirikin would make the difference, but I think that the STRS is gone now, so they're not going to do it. This likely does apply to the F3 as well, but just from bear in mind, I only work on RSSs, so I haven't. Uh, I've test driven the F3, but don't follow me for advice if you're looking for advice on on the F3, unless you've got something like that. I know that the ST is involved, but that's about it. That's all I got for today. I just wanted to show you this quick trick and. Uh, uh we'll see you later i'm looking forward we're now up into the 60s it's the 14th of march and we will be out riding fairly soon and i did go out today but with the gas crunch my budget got adjusted on the trip so i'm kind of grounded until i get some more fundage in place thanks for watching you guys have a great day peace